Sure, fashion statements may not help you win any battles, but it'll make you feel nice. As of the writing of this video, I know nothing about how to theme Steam UI, if that's even possible. We do know that the Steam Deck uses KDE as its desktop environment. We also know that KDE is quite customizable. So at the very least, we can make half of your Steam Deck look nice. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and join my Discord server in the description below. As you may have noticed, I am now affiliated with the Steam Deck Discord. Links in the description below. It's unknown whether or not you can actually theme the Steam UI itself. And no, the exclusive profile bundle isn't theming this, it's making your profile look nicer on Steam. The keyboard theme, however, will theme your on-screen keyboard, so that's cool. However, what I do know is that it uses KDE, so you'll be able to theme KDE pretty easily. You can access the theming menu by searching for it, or you could go through system settings to get to the theming menu. So either way, once your settings menu opens up, you'll want to click on the appearance tab. It's at the very tip top, like literally the first option. Once you're there, you'll be greeted with a couple of options. You can opt to change your global style, which changes almost every aspect of it. There's a couple of themes I've got installed too. Global styles are just a compilation of application, plasma, colors, window decorations, fonts, icons, cursors, launch feedback, font management, and splash screens that you can apply all at once. You tend to get global themes from the KDE store. Not that, you know, any of the themes are paid or anything. At least I haven't seen any paid themes. But you can actually mix and match pieces from these themes. You like the font of a theme, but you like the window decorations of another theme? You can do that. You want to change the colors of a theme, or perhaps you want to change the cursors or an icon to a separate thing? You can do that too. You want to change the boot screen? You can do that too. Honestly, there's not really a whole lot you can't change. There's also a convenient little button there to get new plasma styles for your desktop. It's pretty cool stuff. You can just click install and then there you go. This guide doesn't cover how to create your own custom themes. There are much better guides on how to create your own custom themes, so I think you should follow those instead. I totally want to look into creating my own custom boot logo, because honestly that sounds really cool. All I did was tell you guys how to access themes and how to install themes. Ultimately, picking the coolest looking themes is up to you given that it's totally subjective.